First, it was a very, very strong wind. They don't see each other just two feet away. They can see they can see anything at all because the wind brings sands and leaves. So it gets dark. The surroundings are totally wrecked and it really saddened us. Uh, the, the night after the storm, it's a very heartbreaking because it rains and the people here, what they did, they, what was left of the roof, they just uh, pull it above their bodies, as well as, as well as the children's bodies. It's really heartbreaking. This, this place, the whole, in the entire island, it's not like this. It's like a paradise to us. I, I get lost. I don't expect that the, this happened in this island, in this beautiful island. So this is our village. This area was destroyed by the super typhoon Yolanda. The problem is uh, we have no houses where we, we live. Then now the people start, started uh, building houses from the bricks or from the materials that they picking up from their brick houses. So this is the two sisters affected by the typhoon Yolanda. Their houses, their ha house was destroyed by the typhoon. This is Lilia. So, nano ko na imo, nano ko na imo gibati sa to nga mga panahon. Nervous. Oh, they feel the, they feel nervous, yeah. and shocked, and terrified. Crying. What, uh, they were crying at that when the typhoon Yolanda hit in our community. Their problem now is how to build their house again. Sometimes, if I uh, see the results. The small, uh, the children that they want to, to have a place like home, a place like we, we they live in a better houses. I feel like crying. Then I always pray to God that uh, others can help us in building our new homes. Bantanya Island was in the eye of the storm that came through. There's 18,000 families here, 60,000 people who were affected by the storm. We're on three locations today giving out food and hygiene items to the people who are most affected. Working through church partners and government officials to find those most affected. We've got a thousand people just in this location that are receiving food and hygiene uh, so that they can start getting back on their feet. We partner with the uh, Samaritan because we know that this Samaritan purse uh, is used by God to help our needy, our people. And the Samaritan purse uh, help a lot in our municipality of Santa Fe. Thank you. As we walk around, you can see what it looks like with the number of affected people in just this one location. This is just a small percentage of the people who have been affected by the storm in this one community. Over the next few days, we'll start working with heavy equipment and chainsaws to start clearing out areas so that we can create housing and sanitation systems for the people that are here. We appreciate the ongoing prayers and support that we're receiving from you. We ask that you continue to keep us in your thoughts and your prayers, uh, continue to uh, Allow us to work here through your financial giving. And please continue to pray for the families who are here that hope will continue to grow in the people. As we've walked around, as we've talked to people, their hope is, has not been broken. They're, they're looking to us. They're looking to the people who have come in from other areas and from different parts of the islands to be able to, uh, to sustain that and to continue to move forward.